the amount of time I would spend on developing their skills would be huge. Um, I don't know if that's a roundabout way of saying it. So I, I differentiate technique and skills. So I think um, technique is the almost the the way you do something, and the skill is the how you actually do it. So in tennis, it's a very complex coordination sport. So to have good mechanics and good conformed technique doesn't mean much if it breaks down under the demands of the game, yep, the tool totally and agree. throwing. So I think with that in mind, um, I think that the more we can simulate the the training to the demands of the sport, the better. So I don't do a lot totally of things that. like, um, you know, basket drills where there's no, it's just repetition over and yeah. over and over. I think that's not yeah. what tennis demands of you. Yeah. Um, it, applying it to other sports, I, I did do a little bit of work with a basketball coach and they called it placing the skill. Uh, and it's essentially game-based. So it would be yeah. conceptualizing a certain pattern within a, a game, uh, take it out, practice it, and then put it back into yeah. the game. So I, I would be way more in favor of that game-based approach. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, on the course again, we've yeah. got a whole module that's assigned to sort of contemporary coaching methods yeah. and it's all centered around games-based yeah. coaching. Perfect because it's simulated yeah. and um, obviously training has to be simulated as close to the competitive, yeah. competitive environment as you can. Mm -hmm. So the transfer from yeah. training to competition is relatively small, yeah. but in, in they're seeing in training what they'll be seeing in a game. Yeah. Um, I would say the one, the one time I maybe would take an athlete out and make them focus on a single skill is if it was clearly the whole game is breaking down yeah. because they just couldn't execute that one skill. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe just see if they could repetitively yeah. practice that. The theory of deliberate practice says practice it alone. Yeah, practice it for ten thousand hours and then go and put it into the game. And yeah, that's just no, for me, just no, doesn't hold no, up. No, at all. I think the going back to what some of you spoke about earlier on that whole thing of the the adaptability of the coach to actually go right. This is Spotted. not working. Yeah, let's close it right down. Isolate that one thing within that little pattern or game. Yep. Uh, and then so repeat put some it. constraints yeah, in place exactly. so they can just isolate just that skill. Just focus on that one thing yeah. and then go back and forth. But that's like what we're talking about in terms of uh, those balloons or bean bags or big soft toys. It's the hard. same principle. So some Great. people, when they, they misperceive or misunderstand what you're saying when you say, it's all game based, and also they think it means play games oh, yeah, the totally, whole time. Yeah. yeah, I think if you and it comes back to that thing of being able to pay attention. You're just yeah. playing a game. Yeah, you're, you're not focused on a specific technique, yeah, yeah. specific tactic. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So it, it comes uh, it's back in in and out, in and out. You know, it's like a, metaphorically, it's like a mechanic taking a piece out of an engine, polishing it, yeah. putting it back in, starting the engine. Yeah, the game works. You know, so, the engine works. So. Yeah. yeah, it's almost having a clear aim and objective for the game that you're yeah, doing. No, start with the end in mind. It's that's like it. one of Kobe's yeah. uh, habits. It's yeah, like, that's, that's it. almost goes back to the goal setting thing. Is I know what it looks like. I know, I always think that whole thing of there? coaching being literally just taking someone from A to B. And if you've got X amount of experience and X of knowledge and whatever, you know how to do that in a smoother way than somebody that doesn't. Yeah. Um, so I know what the skill looks like under high pressure. So I know what it needs to be simulated on the match, uh, the training court. Uh, and I might have to just take away the pressure just to feel it and reapply and, yeah. you know, but it's, um, it's, it's back yeah. and forth. It's not a seamless, now no. it's closed, slightly open. Oh, it's not that open, no. close to open continuum. No, more coming, coming back and forth, yeah. yeah.